Tobus and the Easter Eggs. Spring was springing everywhere Thomas went. Each day there were more buds on the trees and more flowers bursting from the ground. Thomas's passengers were enjoying spring too. Annie and Clarabelle's windows were open for the first time in a long while. One morning Sir Topham had came into the yard. Thomas, he said, I need Donald and Douglas for some heavy pulling at the harbour. You will replace them in Harwick for a couple of days to keep things right on time up there. Yes, sir, Thomas peeped. That should be a fun adventure. Harwick was a town in the hilly countryside in the north of Sodor. As Thomas travelled north, Annie and Clarabelle weren't carrying passengers. They were full of pretty straw baskets. Harwick was chilly, but Thomas's driver assured him it will be warm soon. The weather should be perfect for the big Easter egg hunt on Saturday. Egg hunt? asked Thomas. What can eggs hunt for? His driver laughed. Eggs don't do the hunting, Thomas. Children hunt for coloured eggs that are hidden in the town park. That's what the baskets, baskets are for, collecting eggs. As promised, each day was warmer as Thomas chucked up and down the tracks around Harwick. Each day, Thomas saw Terence working hard too. Terence's caterpillar trends helped him move around on the steep hills. In a tree near the tracks, Thomas could see a pair of birds busily building a nest out of twigs and grass. One day, Thomas saw that the birds had found a piece of red ribbon, which gave the nest a cheery bit of colour. Now that nest reminds me of James, thought Thomas. The day before the Easter egg hunt, Thomas saw Terence pulling a trailer full of eggs. The eggs had been dyed all the colours of the rainbow. Thomas had never seen anything so pretty. Thomas waited for Terence as he drove down the muddy road. As Terence easily turned the corner, he tooted a happy spring hello to Thomas. But the trailer didn't have caterpillar treads, like Terence. The curve was sharp. The road was muddy. Oh no! The trailer slowly, slowly, slowly rolled onto its side. Hundreds of Easter eggs slipped off the trailer and rolled down the hill. They tumbled faster and faster down the grassy slope. Some eggs got stopped by flowers and thick clumps of grass. Some rolled to the edge of a stream. A few eggs made it all the way to the fence around Farmer Derby's garden. Oh no, cried Terence. How are we ever going to get all of these eggs gathered and in town in time for, for the Easter egg hunt tomorrow? And then suddenly, Thomas smiled. I think I have an idea, he said. The next morning, there were many children and their families at the town park. There was the big sign announcing the Easter egg hunt. But there were no baskets, and worse yet, there were no Easter eggs. Just then Thomas pulled up. Sir Topham Hat was laughing and smiling. All aboard, he cried, all aboard for a quick trip to the new location of the Easter egg hunt. And everyone happily boarded Annie and Clarabelle, who had been decorated for the special day. Soon everyone was heading out of Harwick towards Mr. Dalby's farm. If we cannot bring the Easter eggs to the children, Pete Thomas, we'll take the children to the Easter eggs. When they reached Dalby's farm, the children got out and waited for the signal to begin hunting for eggs. Sir Topham had started the big hunt. Ready, set, go! 
and the children were off. They looked everywhere for the brightly colored Easter eggs. They found the eggs in the bushes and by the stream. Everyone was having fun. Thomas and Sir Topham had watched the children laughing and hunting. Suddenly, Thomas noticed three blue eggs in a nest in a tree. How did those eggs get up in that tree, he asked. Can Easter eggs fly? Sir Topham had laughed. Those aren't Easter eggs, Thomas. Those are Robin's eggs. Soon they will hatch and be baby birds. Thomas smiled and sighed. Warmer weather, smiling children, Easter eggs and baby birds. I can't wait for the rest of spring. And that's the end of the story. Happy Easter, everyone. Be sure to be good for the Easter bunny who will bring you either some eggs or a, or a chocolate bunny that you could eat. But make sure that you don't eat too much or you might be sick with diarrhea. Get the message.